We're at Flux Beer Reviews. I'm Dan. I am Mike. This is another episode of That's a Beer Swirl. <laughs> Dan, what are we drinking? Swirling on up. Swirling on, on up. To the east side of Kennedy Lake in this not deluxe house. <laughs> uh, that's a this beer. is uh, this is a beer from the Young Lion Brewing Company. Oh, in the aforementioned Cannon Dewa, <laughs> New York. Excuse that's me. The one. <laughs> uh, FLX region, baby. Yes, absolutely. So this is their special release, Blooming Haze. It's Ooh. a hazy double New England style India Pale Ale. Canned on 112, I was gonna say 11, uh, 112, 23. So we are less than a month. Yeah. In, in a can. Uh, this is ABV of 8%, SRM of 3, IBUs 15. And uh, just uh, take a look at this can. It's a gorgeous looking label. It, it is. It, so, how dare they though? Seriously. What do they do? Can we talk about yeah, it? Absolutely. Put them on blast right now. <laughs> we are in the dead of winter. Uh huh. And they're just taunting me with fields of blossoming spring and sunshine. It's almost like their, their finger just so far from the pulse <laughs> of what's going on outside their building. Uh, so this is a hazy double New England IPA that is precisely what we'll all need to say goodbye to winter. Oh. No, it's what we all need to say goodbye yes, to winter. Yes, yeah, I get what they're doing there. And hello to spring. Okay. So we brewed this beer yeah. with a copious amount. Copious. Copious. Amount of word. oat. Malt and flaked oats for a silky mouthfeel. Mm. Oh, silky I've heard things about these Quakers. Uh, then we double dry hopped it with our favorite hops, Nelson Savan. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yep. uh -huh. <laughs> uh, <Are they> French <laughs> Vista. I've never heard of Vista. Vista, Vista. That was like an old Windows operating system. Yeah, it was. It sucked. Yeah. Hopefully, the hop is not as bad as Windows <laughs> was. Uh, and Citra. The resulting beer is loaded with uh, things I'm not gonna say because I don't want to be influenced. Can't influence me. No, no one's gonna influence Dan on what the tasting is. Okay. Uh, the beer did not open. <laughs> I bet we can get it open. You know what just happened to me with? I have another beer from them, and it happened to me too. What's going on? What's going on with your cans? You got it? Can we get it? You got your. Probably pop it open. Yeah. Remember last time? There you go. <laughs> well, here, you open it, you pour first. I Good. Done that. Yeah, I always pour first. That's true. So you've had this at the tapper? I have had this. Um, on tap or? Like, on on tap. Uh, on tap. My buddy, um, Michael Rich, down there, um, he brought it over and was like, just try it. I said, well, buddy, don't force your beer on me. And he was like, just try it. Oh, wait. So, so you're just there minding your business? Minding my business, having a beer that I had pretty he, selected. He, I had already something in mind. And he's over there just like, hey, drink this beer. And I said, was it, was it whoa, like, buddy, whoa. All right. What kind of situation was it? Was it like? It was a bully situation. What were you drinking at the time? I was drinking that grapefruit lager. <laughs> okay, so you're drinking a grapefruit lager. Yeah. And it comes over. Was it like, hey, I really think you'd enjoy this? Or was it like? Drink this or get out kind of vibe. What he will say is that he kindly offered me and my wife a couple tasters of this delicious beverage, but all I saw was red. He was coming at me so aggressively. Forced me to drink beer. Listen. Against my will. I'm not telling you how to be a good customer service advocate, yeah. but I'm telling you how to be a good customer service. You just don't be throwing beer in the face of Mike. It's true. I mean, granted, in the end, it was delicious, and I was very happy you did so, but still. If anything, you should be throwing beer saying, this is for Dan. That's <laughs> Oh, I see how this is all going down. All right. All right anyway. <laughs> so this is uh, just a dullish, orange, juicy-looking, vibrant it, it beer. It does look good, man. It looks all of the hazy in the world. A nice little foamy head on it that's kind of sticking around in these great Jenny <laughs> Brewhouse IPA oh, look, at that, look at that swirl. Look at it go. Look at that swirl. These glasses are getting swirled. Oh, yeah. We're just knocking oh. all the carbonation out of the beer, but look at that swirl. <laughs> It'll do that to right. uh, It looks great. Uh, let's get a freaking whiff on it. <sighs> Oats. Yeah, it's definitely grainy. Grainy, biscuity. It's, it's grainy, biscuity with like, um, like orange rind pith. Snowplow. Look. You'll see it. Oh, I thought it was another gaggle of deer. 
Well, where did, oh, where did, I was like, it's it's like, where is it? The sound disappeared. I'm waiting. I was like, wait, it disappeared. It's, it's a gaggle of snow plows. It's been a day. Uh, th but there's a really nice, like, like bright orange peel kind of citrusy vibe mm. behind all the oats. There's a sweet honey kind of thing going on. <sighs> oh, there is. Like a, like right, a, there's right. like a sweet floral honey. I, I remember when I first smelled it at the brewery, my first thought was that, that is floral. Mm. Like well, the, There's like a, kind of like a, so I know there's Nelson in here, so that's kind of maybe what I'm getting like that. Oh, um, yeah, okay. The kind of grassy, grapey Grape thing. Grapevine kind of, yep. Yep, I agree. But honestly, it's not so much leading more towards like a, like a white wine grape. It's more like, like a sweet grape. I think it's it's like a regular green grape kind yeah, yeah. of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the the ones where they like snap when you bite in, they're elongated. Oh, they're, just, they're good. I just got a dollop of uh like Clementine. He loves his dollops. Dollops. Yeah, right, it's a it's a very nice balance here, so cheers. Hey, Mike, thanks for forcing this beer on me against my will. And thanks for uh, you know, just forgetting about me. Just because I'm not there, I mean you can't send some home. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, dude. So that's interesting. Wow. So I've had it, so talk to me. Because this is exactly as I remember it. I don't know what kind of yeast profile they're rocking with, or if that's the Vista, or Vista, whatever mm -hmm. the hell you want to call it. I'm just going to call it Windows. I don't know if that's the Windows, but... There's almost like a Belgian-y yeast kind of aspect to this. Ooh, okay. Where I'm getting that, I'm getting that sweet honey, but it, yep. it's got like some Belgian esters quality to it. It's almost like um, there's that floralness. Yep. It's like a <clears throat> like a floral nectar. Yeah, like I get that so much. Like I think the honey sweetness, like that that bright fresh. Uh, nectar just kind of comes out with all the like flowers the lavenders and whatnot and yeah just, that's it's i'll so tell you what oh outdoorsy body for eight percent it's a it's very appropriate mm -hmm. it's all in mouthfeel they're, they're right it is very silky smooth it is it's um, creamy the i think what it, whatever they did with the oats and everything it really shines there is all right so on the back it says uh it's loaded with white grape and citrus notes. Mm -hmm. Perfect to toast spring. But I'm going to go a step further on... It, it's almost... It, it's a grassy grape. So on the on the front, that's when you get those Belgian kind of estery kind of thing. Blended with that kind of clementine. And then it dives into that bitterness and that grassiness. Yep. But then pops up that kind of sweet grape. Okay. I, I think that... That vinous kind of green, sweet grape nature is kind of just present all throughout the palate. I think there's a really nice, bright, pithy citrus note that comes through. You get a bit of a, a drying note, like lip smacking drying note on the front of the palate. Uh, like oat, like fl that flaked oat flavor kind of just bounces around the whole way through. And it's just a soft, silky mouthfeel to it. This is a fun beer. I like it because it's different. It's different. It's not. Right? Yeah. You know, you're throwing in hops that I'm not used to. Um, I, I kind of look for that a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, I love hop combinations yeah. that you, you don't see often. I, I got to say that malt presence shines through more so on this than I've had in any other Young Lion brewed IPA. Like, mm. before it's, they've really, I think, stepped up their game a little bit from. I think so, too. Uh, you know, I've got to see this brewery kind of grow. Yeah. And I've kind of grown with it as well. Like, they first popped up, and I was like, eh, yeah, I'm okay with it. You know, it's, it's nothing spectacular to me or, mm -hmm. you know, knock my socks off. But, you know, as the special releases go on and stuff, I've been up in their game. But this is... I think it's one of my favorite releases they've done. It's unique. It's, it's really unique. good. Uh, hey, if you're ever in the Canadigua area, they have a gorgeous... Gorgeous. Oh yeah, uh, uh, right on the lake. Yeah, right, right, right on the, the a beach great front. location. It's one of the the stops I would highly encourage people to do if they're they're in the area. Just mm. brewery hopping. Man, that sweet malt. I think there's a really nice balance of drying mm. bitterness, 
to sweet, malty, floral, citrusy mm. notes. It's, hey, it's one of those beers that as you're drinking it, your, your lips, you kind of got to keep on smacking your lips because you get that sticky kind of. Yeah. Uh, it's true. And I think that the flavors hang around just long enough for you to really enjoy and appreciate what they are. And then you're ready to go back for another one. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll drop a... I'll drop a 4-1 on this bad boy. All right. I, I think I'm, I was thinking about it last time I had it. I'm still at a solid, like, 4-2-5 on this. Okay. I really like it a lot. I mean, uh, a 4-1, that's a that's a it's a very good beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, yeah, okay. this is good. Uh, that, does it make me think of spring? Sure. Why not? It makes me think of wanting to get another beer. You know what it makes me think of is sitting on the patio at Young Lion, drinking one of these, you know. They're really nice brewery. Remember that one time? It was like a couple summers ago. I was like, I don't know if it was my birthday, and it was like the last stop on the birthday stop. So I went to Young Lion, oh, and we're, yeah. we're sitting outside. Yeah. The, the sun's shining on us. It's just like a nice warm sun on like a, a summer day in June. And I'm like, it was it was me and, and Nicole, and I'm just like, man, I, I want someone else to come down and drink a beer with me. And finally, <laughs> I coaxed him out. And by the time he got there, I was kind of, I was kind of yeah. I was probably like four IPAs deep. I'm just like, oh, yeah, hey, Mike, you know, you know, it's, oh, you came. Oh, you're my best friend. I'm like, this is delicious. It was when they first released their uh, New England IPA. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, also, also, they have their futuristic technology machine that will allow you to Print various pictures on uh, the head of your beer. That's awesome. We got the logo. <laughs> we got on our here. logo on there. And All right, it's pretty <laughs> magical. All right, uh, this <sighs> review is way too long. It doesn't so matter. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, no one's shackling. But I don't want people to be there for. I want them to watch it. Uh, so let's let's wrap it up. Right. Uh, down the description below. I thought beer reviews on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. My untapped. Mike's untapped. Go check us out. Check out Young Lion, Can't Egg with New York. Heart Absolutely. of the FLX, baby. Thanks for uh, recommending the beer, Mike. Appreciate it. Thanks Swirl for watching, everybody. Swirl on up. Swirl on up. Cheers. <laughs>